Carly, President Biden also addressing the war in Gaza and the anti-Israel protesters that broke past DNC security and filled the streets of Chicago during his speech last night. We're working around the clock, my Secretary of State, to prevent a wider war and reunite hostages with their families. And finally, finally, finally deliver a ceasefire and end this war. Those, those protesters out in the street, they have a point. Meantime, Jewish high school graduates from an elite New York City high school are avoiding Columbia University with no graduates enrolling this upcoming year for the first time in decades because of the mass anti-Semitism on Columbia's campus. Rory Lansman is the senior counsel at the Louis D. Brandeis Center for Human Rights Under Law, a former New York State Assemblyman and former New York City Councilman whose daughters attend that high school, and he joins me now. Rory, thanks for being here. Before we get to the rejection of all these students of Columbia University, I want to get your reaction to what you heard the President of the United States say last night that Hamas sympathizers, quote, have a point. Well, good morning. Uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to, to be with you. Um, look, uh, the war is causing a tremendous amount of uh, frustration and unhappiness uh, in all of us, including those of us who, like myself, are, are ardent um, supporters of Israel and its efforts to, to destroy Hamas. Um, I think everybody would like to see a path to this war concluding with our hostages returned home, uh, Hamas uh, defeated and, and, and unable to launch a, a similar kind of attack uh, on Israel. And of course, Israel dealing with the situation in the North, which isn't getting enough attention, um, where you have tens of thousands right. of Israelis displaced from their homes um, because uh, Hezbollah is launching rockets and, and, and missiles uh, into, into Northern Israel. Sure. So uh, I think, uh, you know, what the president was saying was last night was that um, we have to have a rational way forward. And, and our vision of that um, is one where Hamas is defeated and our hostages come home. Understood. Um, back to the Columbia rejection by all these. I mean, let's be real. This high school that we're talking about is sort of a feeder school to Columbia University over the years. And to have not one single <clears throat> individual decide, hey, I'm going to Columbia University is sending them quite a message, isn't it, Rory? Well, it's Jewish families, Jewish students uh, voting with their feet, uh, so to speak. Um, you know, our entire community uh, is deeply concerned that uh, our students, our young people, uh, would go off to a university and uh, be harassed, um, be treated uh, unequally, uh, be unable to enjoy and experience and, and, and get out of uh, college what uh, we expect them to be able to, and, and, and for generations, what they have been able to. Uh, uh, the presence at, at Columbia University of, of Jewish students, including students from uh, Ramaz, where my daughter attended, um, uh, has helped make that university what it is. Um, but today, Jewish parents uh, have to consider, and, and students themselves, uh, whether or not uh, the university they go to, no matter how uh, elite or shiny or prestigious, uh, the name on, 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 on the door is, um, is going to keep them safe and take seriously their responsibility to, um, to combat anti-Semitism on campus. Yeah, you have to wonder if a boycott like this of Columbia University and other Ivy League schools, to your point, Rory, will force some significant change where students of all races, all religions, all ethnicities feel comfortable to go to said school, that's the way it should be. That's the way it always has been. I don't, it's so horrible that over the course of the last year it has changed. It's not right. Rory Lansman, we thank you so much. Appreciate your time.